good day in L.A. for the locals. USC frustrated in game one with just one run and two hits explodes in game two. Ten runs, 11 hits for the best hitting team in the Pac-12. And for USC, they couldn't wait to get to the ballpark. They wasted no time as they put up a three spot in the first inning. First two guys walked and then Timmy Robinson. Does what a number three hitter is supposed to do, drive in runs. And Stephen Kwan out in center gets a little tied up on that ball. Timmy Robinson opens it up early. A three-run triple knocks in two. SC's on their way. And then in the third inning, bases loaded for the guy in the bottom of the order. Brandon Perez, he lifts one down into that corner and chases three to the plate. And at that point, SC was up eight to nothing after three innings, putting this one away early. And that's all Kyle Davis needed. He went five frames. Yeah, barely broke a sweat. Five innings, throws 70 pitches. Faces 17 batters, and Dan Hubbs gets him out. A little nice little tune-up, and then he turns it over to the bullpen. Gets his fifth win. And then David Oppenheim, the best hitter in the conference, who was handcuffed in game one, already had a single in the second, and gets his fourth home run of the season in the eighth inning. A guy not known for his power, but he likes to flex it every now and then. So SC wins it 10-1. to SC now improves to 13 and 13 in conference. They're one game under 500 for the season. Oregon State is now 31 and 19, 12 and 14 in Pac-12 play. So Oregon State won game one. SC comes back to defend their house on Saturday. It means we all come back again on Sunday and meet at high noon to settle the series. Oregon State and USC live on the Pac-12 Network.